Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die here on the Mind Crack server. And first of all, my speech. Thank you very much. Uh, I was just checking the video of yesterday, going through the comments and your feedback. It's amazing. You, you guys really are into it, you know, giving a lot of good suggestions and also the likes. You keep um, coming, which is so amazing. I mean, the video is not even out for 24 hours. It's like, I don't know, really early here, 9 a.m. in Germany. And yeah, we already broke the 2000 likes again. And yeah, they keep on rolling in and it's just a pleasure. It's just a joy to make those videos very enjoyable. It's like old school feels for me. Like, you know, if you do my um, YouTube for a while, um, those things matter. And so, yeah, keep that up. Thank you very much. Hit that like button for me. It just makes me a happy camper. <laughs> so, I was reading through feedback. I had several questions for you last episode. I asked, is this cool? Having spotlights here on a little wedge. The guy said, yep, looks damn good. All right, so I like that. Okay, oh, with what do we repair a pipe like that? Can't be repaired, as it seems. No. Hmm. That sucks. Let me see if I break it out. Is it? Is it be? Will it be like gone or what? What happens to it? Or will we just get a fully working one back? Yeah, we got it back. Okay, this is uh, the way to go to repair them. All right. I had three cops coming in in the night while, while, while I was working up there a little bit. I'm um, going through the feedback and doing adjustments according to that. So... <gasps> whoa, 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 what? What did just happen there? So, I asked about the pillars. You guys said leave them mostly wood and that was the top voted comment on that and make the bottom steel so i did that eventually also the top steel i have to think about that i'm not quite sure if i'm convinced yet it depends how our roof construction um you know will turn out or the floor or yeah, middle floor in between floor here secondly um was a really good suggestion because i had this issue where i didn't really f like how the round pillars kind of merged on the corners here you guys said just put a uh, square blocks there that should look fine and it definitely does. Looks cool, right? This way. I'm liking it. And I also started to make the middle pillar here square shaped as well. And now, just now, I was trying something out. And yeah, as I have all these pipes, we want to include them. And I was doing this. Adding pipes, more pipes, you know, going around. And I was thinking I'd probably you know, have them on all sides and it should look cool, you know. Now it looks a bit big as there's not much on top, but when the building is growing, I think it should look fine. So we're gonna hook up uh, pipes all around there and give it a little look, stare at it and, you know, this is how you yeah, create things. Try it out, look at it for a while, see if you like it, if not, remove it again. And with trial and error, Eventually you get to something. So the idea is was to wrap these pipes around. I don't know for what these pipes would be, you know, are they what function they would have here um but whatever. Maybe it's I don't know, some gas I'm I'm pumping around or some water or whatever it would, would be here, or it's just ornamentation in the end. But if you'd imagine it had some function, maybe it would be cooling pipes or so. Um, for the forges, uh, you know, or whatever. I'm not quite sure what it would be, but I, I just like the look of them. Uh, they are really cool, those pipes. Okay. I wanted to leave that open and not bring him all the way around. Just have him at these corners here. Okay, let's see how, the, how they go. Bam. Put one here, here. And then last one to connect it all. Okay, let's quickly jump down again and look at it for a bit and see what we think about it. Uh, definitely give me feedback about that as well. That's the first question for you guys. 
Does that look cool? I mean, I like it. It definitely goes with the you know pipes we have below and gives it a bit more complexity. I'm thinking it's looking cool. But yeah, I'm not always right. You guys been helping a lot with good design ideas. So yeah, wellness is up to 190 just now. That's cool. And I'm liking it. <coughs> I think it's good. Yep. Do we want to make those square blocks to steel? Mm, I'm not sure. Have to think about it for a while. Maybe not. Don't want to overdo it with the steel up there. Okay, so today um, I also want to go a little bit uh, on an exploring trip, not only building, because I need to find this dang nail gun. And I have a bunch of skill points left, 2600, and I was thinking to increase our chances of finding, um, you know, finally finding a shotgun, we should invest that into scavenging. So let's see how much that costs. It's gonna be expensive, quite expensive. 1,700. Do we want to pump it all the way to 100? Come on, let's don't think about it. Let's do it. That was extremely costly. We have 800 skill points left now. But so be it. Now we have scavenging 100. That is the best we can get. Plus quality, Joe. I was just a bit reluctant to pump it into scavenging because, you know, by scavenging you can also upgrade it just like that without... Um, investing points. I wanted to save some for, for rifle skills and mm, yeah, some other skills you might want to pump a bit. Mm, but whatever, you know. You know, blade weapon skill is up. Constructing gunsmithing is at 71 from all the ammunition we've been making. That's good. What is our shotgun skill? <coughs> Shotgun's 82. I mean, we've been using it mainly, it goes up as well, so it's, it's, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Alright, so, for the next layer on top, I was thinking we need to come up with a little bit of a nifty roof construction here. And I was thinking it should be a grid and we maybe also want to introduce some wood to kind of complement our pillars here, or our whatever these things are called, poles, wood poles. So I was thinking maybe here, you know, we <coughs> we want to have the roof one layer um, above um, those those pipes. Otherwise, if you put the roof right here, we will not see, see the pipes from, from inside and it would do away with the whole effect we've been working for. So... I was thinking we could try out something like that. Let me show you. I thought about it for a while. Okay, um, I was thinking this. Um, let's use a ramp. And we put the ramps on like this. <coughs> let's see. Like so. And so. Then we come inwards to here. Let's get some of those. Should be able to stand on here, yeah. Like this. Now we just need a wedge here. That would be a scrap inner frame. Close off the gap and kind of blend with the corner here. That would be an option. <coughs> you know, and then continue those outer pillars further up as some kind of support as well. Like so. But why does it look awkward? No, oh, wait. Give me the back. Was that placed correctly? I don't think so. Flick with this, what it kind of, ah, okay, it was just really thin, you could, that's weird. But why does it look so weird? That's a graphical glitch. Hmm. 
But have a have a thing like that in the corners, in all three corners. And then I don't know, come across with cross beams here and then fill in the rest with wood and stuff. I don't know if that would go. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that looks that would look cool. Metal that. And mm, do those. And of course these two. Like a so. I think that'll work. <clears throat> and then we have to have to think about what we're gonna do here. I mean, if we do this, we get this gap again. Oh damn was too far, I had no support. Need to have support somewhere. We could go with ramps on top here too. How would the them look? Let's check it out. I guess it would look would look okay. Come across with ramps and then have another row of concrete here. Yep. And then maybe use some poles up in there. Let's see. Sadly, we can't have any here. That really is this is dumb. Hmm. What? Here they would. Oh yeah, here they would fit. But then we couldn't fit one inside here. Sadly, ah, that sucks. Then because then I would put some here, remove the upper one. Hmm. Hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, or we just leave the gap there. Just knock him out again. What? Well, can't reach him. Or leave the little gap there. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe we could also put a pipe there somehow. Have pipes come in here in the corners maybe. I like... Let's see how it looks from, from outside. How that the corner blends in. It's mainly covered by the pipes, but I think it looks cool. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do the corners now. Oh, don't jump in the damn hole. <laughs> and then um, we think about how we do the middle structure. So I'll be right back. Alright. So, got all these blocks in and now I was just thinking about this. Scrap outer frames. That looks cool. I like it. Give it a bit more complexity. You know what I mean? It almost call for doing this steel and then doing it like that. I think that looks pretty cool to be honest. You know, removing those, the top poles here. And then place them like uh, so. Ah, oh, there was it. Let's see, like so. I think it looks cool. I think we keep that.
gives it a bit more complexity. Bang. <laughs> if you leave it like that, it looks like a glass is in the corner there staring at me. Hey, dog. I'm your house. Wanna talk to you? <laughs> no! Dumbass. Upgraded it too much. Yeah, that stands out like a Thor thump. We need to remove that steel layer again. That doesn't look good. We can upgrade this inner thing. That looks okay. Go away. 4,000. Still, the zombies do quite a lot of damage and even if you have steeled up stuff, they the damage they do is a bit much sometimes, I feel. I mean, it's steel, come on. They're pummeling it with their bare fists. It looks good, right, guys? Gives it a bit more complexity. Now the wood, you know, stands for... It sits there uh, quite lonely, um, but... I'm thinking... Should they be full steel now? We have to see how the wood wood ceiling looks. I definitely want to use wood ceiling, but that I like. That I like for sure. So let's put that in all the way around. Get those out of there. Afraid the concrete will fall on my head, but seems stable. I'm still not 100% sure about all the physics in the game. And we probably will have a little accident while building here too, that something collapses or so quite easily happen. This. That. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's drink some water, eat some potatoes. So we keep on healing up while we build here. Come on, it's gotta be over 50%. And one more. There we go. Alright, did I make enough? Yep, scrap out of frame. Let's break that out. Bang. Bang. Like so, and like so. Guess that works out. Okay. Yeah. Shaping up to be cool. What do we think about the gap? Um, definitely those all have to be like steel. There's no doubt. You won't see it from the inside, but from the outside it has to be steel. I checked it. I'll show you. Uh, let's get more steel on bar. Um, what's happening here? Oh yeah, I was making more concrete. Put some stone in there. Go. Go. Here. Oh yeah. I need to go mining soon again. I'm running low on coal. It's dumb to use coal, but I'm too lazy to craft any. You can also use, like, I think it was wooden fences or so. They work pretty well as fuel, they're really efficient. Maybe I should start doing that. Alright. Let's do these. Those are done. Now they dried up rather quickly. It's so strange with these wedges. Don't get it. Okay. Oh wow. Conga line. Yoohoo! Oh, he ducked it. It's a real zombie conga line. Where are they heading to? Hi, I'm behind you. Hey, party is over here, guys. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> well, bleeding out. Seriously. 
from one hit. Ah. How annoying was that? Okay. Oh, nice, some honey. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> that conga line. More food. A nice bandana, I'll take it and I'll take that too. See what we got here. Yeah, we'll take that too. Wait, let's do this scrap and that. There's some wood debris on us, we can use it as fuel. Far house is still st standing strong. I'm thinking I'm gonna put some mines in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, go with debris. Ah, whatever, leave the fat here. I'm gonna put some mines in there, you know. <laughs> and then if zombies walk in, they help destroying it. I mean, that would probably work. Boom. Yeah. Grab. We can also eat that cat food, by the way. Uh, glue, I want to keep. Ah, uh, you get the. It always sucks if you have full inventory. Okay. What did you have for me, my friend? Nothing. Alright. See, I think it makes sense to have all these wedges steel. Also, the one in the corner there. It's like a steel frame around. I think we're getting somewhere here. I think we're getting somewhere. Alright, so this this steel. Are they dried up? No. They take forever again. Let's do the outer ones in steel though. Like this one here. Oh, I haven't even concreted it. But that should be steel. Some kind of a roof here. This, and that, and that. Maybe we can continue with pipes here as well. We can't upgrade it yet. It's still drying out. All right. Dead. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. I need to chop some wood. I don't have that much, and I need to clear my inventory. While I'm down here, I want to try another thing out, that is using the blood draw kit from the hotbar. Aha! Look at that, boys and girls. This doesn't make it go away. That is extremely nice. That was also a comment somebody left. So using it from the hotbar doesn't make it glitch out. We can get body bags and we can make, uh, what was it again, what did we need uh, for the first aid kit? Grain alcohol, a band-aid and duct tape. Alright. Aha! So this is how it works. I was really thinking that is dumb. That you cannot use it, reuse it. It's your own, I mean it obviously in reality, you wouldn't do that. Okay. Let's take one first aid kit. We just made... Okay, that is really good to know. That makes me happy. Because I was thinking, man, that sucks with the blood draw kits. If you just use them up like there's nothing. You can't keep them. That is pretty amazing. Okay, now we know. Thanks for the good tip. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I've been working a bit overnight and right now I'm still <laughs> going strong with the concrete. <laughs> we might go concrete all along, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa! Oh. What happened there just now? Ah oh, man, that needs to be attached to the outside, that just collapsed on me. Needs to be connected here, those gaps. Yeah, but I did this now on the inside, you know, 
going up, up like this. And here we have a little bit of a problem, as it seems. That stuff just fell down when I was standing on top of it. That's not good. <coughs> so we need to fill in those gaps. And right now, <coughs> I'm thinking as we need stability, we go full concrete on the ceiling. So be it. What? I'm out of wood. Yep. Did I have some wood stored up still? By the way. Oh yes. No need for me to go chop some wood. That is, that is fortunate. Okay, let's do this. I hope that stabilizes it all. Otherwise we have to think of some other support structures from below. Okay, let's do this. Now we're out of concrete. That. Should hopefully be stable. I mean, we need a way to get up, as you see there, on the side. So, okay, let's do this. Okay, we need to let it dry up. Here in the middle. Oh, we need one more ladder. I'm using wood ladders here temporarily. Obviously, that would be metal ladders in the end. Oh, yeah, well, obviously, this side was not finished. How oh, can you be so stupid and stand on there, wasting materials? It's not that there are Jeep. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, solid concrete ceiling. That should hold up. Yes, it looks cool. Now I'm thinking, as we have no wood ceiling, I should upgrade all these into steel. We need steel. Man, I'm blasting through resources. It is not even funny. Yep, I need to do a mining trip soon. There's no way around it. If we upgrade all these. Yeah. I think that's cool. The way it developed now, you know, I think it's better to have them fully steel. Yeah. Definitely makes sense. Okay, so upgrade all these to steel. So expensive. And we gotta see if this, when the ceiling dries up, if it's stable. If not, we have to mess around with it a bit and get more stability in there. I moved the lighting right now to the outsides here. I mean, here would also be a spot for torches or candles. What is missing? Scrap. Okay, yeah. Let me upgrade all these to steel and then we take another look. Alright, we have a stability issue. Just tested it. Like if I come up here, this one should break out. So it's not holding up. What the? Oh my god. How did the... Oh, Oh, health decrease. They climbed up here. Suckers. I'm doing physics tests. Can't deal with you scrubs. Man. We have to figure out how we worked it. Oh, they even broke a spike down there. Interesting. That must have been a lot. I wasn't paying attention to them. Yeah, this is a, a problem. I crawl around on the floor. So, okay, we have this stability issue here. By doing this cross-section, it was not able to hold it up. This also broke out, so this should also break out if I step on it, right? Because we have the gap here. Where that, this one. What? This is holding in? 
no sense. This is breaking out. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Could be because... Wait, let's see. Yeah, I think our tunnel is here below, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! All of that is unstable. Jeez. I think it is because we have our tunnel below. The physics in this game are a bit weird. Yep. Stable, stable, stable. Stable. Alright. Yeah, around here we... Oh, man. This makes things considerably hard. Oh, here we found another unstable area. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, well, it's now it's a domino effect, I guess, if other parts are breaking out. This should be stable. Why wouldn't that hold up? Hmm. Oh, we're running in some problems here, guys. We're running in some problems. How are we gonna fix that? <laughs> All right, I think I found a solution for the problem. You know, there's a simple answer to all problems. When in doubt, more concrete. <laughs> and I was just uh, working on a little bit of a change here for the roof. Some pipes here in the ceiling. Kind of, you know, it looks like an air conditioning now or so. Here, through these vents, we blow out air. And we have this cool structure on the ceiling going around the middle pillar I think that's cool and now I have a double layer of concrete here that's too thick now and now that's stable sturdy yeah I also added some pipes here on the outside and steeled up the whole area around I'm really running low on resources now steel and stuff and I need to need to go mining and um, I think we can call it an end for today's episode. Yeah, check it out. It's looking pretty epic, in my opinion. I mean, here we got the pipes going up where you can see my crosshair. More pipes going around. Oh, this... Oh, yeah, we got a zombie. This needs to be steeled up. One second. Here, there's a layer of steel missing here. Is it? Yep. Okay, there needs to be steel. Here we did it. I mean, this thing is starting to look really epic. I'm really liking the direction we're headed, man. Yep. Bunch of trial and error. That's what I like. And I don't know if I captured it or not. I'll see. But I died again. I fell all the way down. And um, died. Let's quickly fix that. Do I have some more steel on me? Yeah, I got a little bit more. Let's do this last portion of the roof. And then we call it an end for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I said we wanted to go a little bit um, exploring. But um, it's more important to me. Or, or was more important to me to fix those those problems we had. With, you know, stability here and stuff. We can't, yeah, can't deal with that. Stuff's broken. What the hell? This is still not dried up? You kidding me right now? Wow. It's literally gonna take forever or what? Alright, I'll do it then. Hmm. But okay, and on top here, I guess I'm gonna go further up. Um, we'll see how it develops. I mean, cool tower would be nice, you know, skyscraper style. But it's all in the detail, and I think we did a really good job with the ceiling here now. It's stable, and it's looking cool. And we got pipes. Just loving the pipes. <laughs> Alright, so... What, there was some damage here. Thanks a lot for watching, my friends. Keep up those likes. I'm gonna try my best to really put um, yeah, a lot of effort in these episodes. Um, make things look good. And yeah, show dedication as a little payback for you being so supportive for these episodes. 
hope you enjoyed it definitely next time we should go exploring a bit you know to to get inspired and to collect some parts we need like batteries for more lights here to have them there when we um, put our ramps down you know what i mean so we are lit up to all sides like a so this one goes here it's the right height yeah and on all sides and of course we also have our underground farm project to be working on so there's plenty of stuff still to do in the game for us yeah, like this i could concrete it up right away because it's gonna take forever to dry anyways these stupid wedges let's do this bang like literally, I'm here for two, three hours now, and those weird wedges on the sides, they still haven't dried up. It is quite strange. Where's my shoddy? You dead? Yes, you are. See? Oh, yes, nice. Nice. Another nurse, that's the last thing we're gonna do. Blow up the head of a nurse. It's my new hobby. <laughs> Sounded wrong, out of context. There's another one. Alright, come here, let's see what you got for us. And empty jar. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so guys, see you next time. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for your support. I'm out. Bye-bye.